International Institute of Artivism <laughs> you've, create, you've created. Um, you've chosen to call it Hannah Arendt and to yes. start it up with a um, uh, reading of the origins of totalitarianism. Yes. Um, can you tell us why you chose Hannah Arendt? And well, um, first of all, she's my favorite uh, philosopher, political philosopher. Um, well, I choose her because she's not an obvious option. Um, uh, she's a woman, she's a philosopher, but she also devoted her work um, in a non, um, like in a way that is very beautiful and I want the Institute to be in that kind of culture, in a way that she didn't, um, let's say, she, she was able to make criticism to her own people, like she was German, she was Jewish, and she made all these uh, books trying to analyze what is happening in a very um, uh, humanistic but at the same unapologetic way about this is who we are. And I think this is part of what I want the Institute to be, being in Cuba, having Cuba going through all what is going right now. Uh, but the Institute, um, and also I think origins of totalitarianism, because we are in an era of totalitarianism, of the capitalistic totalitarianism, uh, of uh, the, cap the totalitarianism of wealth and money, and the totalitarianism of privilege. And, um, and this only do not apply only to Cuba, it's in general. And I think um, that book is great because it doesn't talk only about dictators and totalitarian regimes as, as such, but it also talks about um, capitalism and, and so on. So I think it's, it's very important that her message is that totalitarianism is not only, is can be more um, present than only being represented by the person in front of you telling what to do as a president so, or as a dictator. So there are many ways to, to have a totalitarian society and we're living right now globally in a totalitarian society. The totalitarianism of not giving immigrants a chance, the totalitarianism of uh, greed, you know, so I think we are having these totalitarian moments right now in the world.